Hello beautiful soul, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about something that is absolutely crucial for you to understand, for you to complete this transformation that you are creating in your life. You are transforming in so many ways. You're transforming mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, professionally, financially, all of these different ways and in different areas of your life. You are transforming. Your life is changing. You are working very hard on yourself to understand yourself, how you behave, how you think, the words, the power behind the words that you choose and that you choose to speak and how you respond to different situations. You're becoming more self-aware. You're becoming more conscious in order to make these changes so your life can reflect that in reality and be better on the outside and make more money, have better relationships with your friends, your family, your lover, attract a new lover into your life, to start a business, to feel more love for yourself and more worthy. All of these things, you're working very hard. What's crucial to understand about your transformation is that you have got to leave the old you behind. And this is so challenging. So if you find yourself repeating old behaviors, you're moving forward and you are, again, we'll use fitness as I often do as an example. You've been eating healthy and going to the gym, doing your workouts, you're seeing all this weight loss. All of a sudden, after doing that for two, three months, starting to feel really good about yourself, seeing some results, your clothes are fitting different, you find yourself going back to the way that you used to eat, starting to drink alcohol a bunch like you used to, going out when you shouldn't, not getting enough sleep, etc. Whatever bad or, I wouldn't, shouldn't say bad, but behaviors or habits that did not serve you, that were creating the old you, if you find yourself slipping back, there's two things to understand about this. One, it's natural. So give yourself some grace. Understand that it's part of the process, that your growth is non-linear. It's a two steps forward, one step back, three steps forward, a pause, then two steps back. It's a non-linear path, but as long as you are slowly progressing, you are, on, you are on the right track. The crucial thing to understand about these repeating behaviors is they're indicators that you are struggling with letting go. For me, it's, I approach it a little differently. I have a very extreme personality and a very self-aware in that regard. After all, I'm a Gemini, so I can be very extreme on two sides. For me, my transformation has brought to the surface that I need to let go of everyone and everything that I knew in the past. I've dropped so many friendships, people that I thought would be in my life forever that I've known quite literally my entire life have exited my life and all with love on my side and their side. It's just that I'm elevating and changing that our vibrations no longer match. And so we're on different life paths. So it's different energies, different alignments, again, different paths, so we no longer align. I've had to leave so much of what I knew and thought I knew in the past, and this is what's crucial to understand, is that your new life is going to require you to let go of everyone or a lot of the people that you used to know, you used to hang out with, you used to talk with, all these things. And it can be even more difficult when it's friends and family, but You've got to leave behind the behaviors, the old way of thinking, the old way of speaking, the old way of responding to situations. Because let me ask you this, do you think that version of you that's a multimillionaire who's incredibly financially successful and lives in this beautiful house with a loving husband or wife and kids, if that's what you want or whatever your dream life looks like, fast forward to whatever amount of time, X many months or years, you know, it really doesn't matter and put yourself in that future. Do you think that that version of you operates the same way that you're operating now? Do you think that version of you thinks the same way? Do you think that they have the same amount of responsibility? Do you think that they respond to situations the same way that you would respond to them now? The answer is quite literally no. Why? Because that version of you is what you're going through and experiencing through right now. All of these hardships, you want more, therefore you're required to become more, to transform. And that requires letting go of your past, 
letting go of the old stories you told yourself about how you're like this because of this event and because your parents or your brother or your sister or your uncle or your cousin or your old friends or your boyfriend in high school or your girlfriend in college or whatever. None of that matters anymore. You have to leave your entire old life and for me, pretty much everyone and everything I've ever known in the past because I'm transforming into a new version of myself. This is what you've got to understand that's crucial for your transformation. In order to become that version of you, you've got to let go of everything and everyone that was attaching your old identity to that old life. Now you think differently, now you move differently, now you speak and act, you behave differently, now your work ethic is different, now your level of responsibility, now the level of pressure that you're able to handle is different, the way you respond to situations, it's all different. So you've got to let go, you've got to let go, you've got to let go, rewinding to that example about the fitness, the old limiting behaviors, you've got to let go of going out three, four times a week, eating out, even if they are nice dinners and you like doing it. That's not serving you for the body that you want. You've gotta cook more at home, eat healthier food, drink more water, maybe ease back on the caffeine, ease back on the alcohol, ease back on the smoking, whatever you're doing. You've gotta let go of the old behaviors. You have to let go. That stuff has got to go. The more you let that go, the more you are transforming into the new you. Here's the key indicator that you are really transforming and changing into that man or woman that you are destined to be. You will no longer have the desire for a lot of those old behaviors. A lot of the same places you used to like to go to, a lot of the things you used to like to do, maybe even some of the foods you used to really like, even if they are healthy, they might change. Maybe you always hated avocados. Maybe you love avocados now. Maybe uh, mushrooms or something you always like to eat. Maybe you don't like mushrooms anymore. Let it all go and allow yourself to become the new version of you by embracing whatever changes are happening in your life. This means you're on the right track. So the crucial thing to understand, as I repeat myself again, you've got to let go of everyone and everything that your old identity was attached to in order to become the man or woman that you are destined to be that lives that life that you want. Here's the thing, when you do this, and if you are letting go of a lot of people in your life, the right people will come into your life. A personal example for me, I've had a group of friends, guys, that I literally grew up with. I've known these guys, a couple of them since elementary school. I'm talking first, second, third grade. A couple of them became my best friend. We became best friends from fifth to sixth grade. I knew them for 34 years of my life or whatever it was, or 36 years of my life or whatever it was, right? We're no longer best friends. I haven't spoken to them in a year and a half, two years. And even if we do reconnect, we'll never be the same because I chose to grow and change. But here's the crazy thing about it. As I've let go of my old friends, these groups of friends, you know who I got closer with? I healed and reconnected with my dad and we're closer than ever and he's become one of my great friends. My sister is my absolute best friend. So the people that are meant to really come with you and ascend into your new life will come with you. But you have got to let go. You have got to let go because the old you the behaviors, the way you think, speak, you act, your attitudes, your thought process, the way you operate, your work ethic, your level of responsibility, it's all going to change. This is what transformation is. The more you let go of that, the more and the quicker the transformation and the manifestations that you desire will occur. You cannot have this new life being the same person that you were. You are becoming a different person. An important note to, with this as well is give yourself time and space to experience the grief, to experience the sadness. Because what is grief? Grief is an emotion that we feel when there is a loss in our life. And it is a loss. You've got to grieve and give yourself grace and permission to feel the emotions 
of grief, of loss of your old life, of those friends that you have loved and will always love but are no longer there, of the behaviors, the old version of you. You have to grieve. You have to allow yourself to feel the emotions so that energy can run through you. And as it runs through you and you release it, by feeling those emotions, you're releasing the emotional and energetic baggage tied to your old identity. You're creating space for the new version of you to come in. That's what's happening. So what's crucial to understand, as I repeat myself over and over, let go. Let go of the old relationships. Let go of the friends. Doesn't mean you never have to speak to them again. But again, what you'll find out is when you really transform, you won't really want to speak to them again. Not because there's anything wrong. You're just a different person now. The things you used to relate to, you don't relate to them anymore. You don't care about fantasy football anymore. You don't care about the latest celebrity gossip. You don't care about trends in clothes or whatever. No, when you align with your divine mission and what you're meant for and you are on the right path, everything is gonna change. Your diet's gonna change. The way that you think is gonna change. Your interests are gonna change. How you communicate is gonna change. Everything will change and it only happens by you letting go of the past. So you've got to let go and understand that this is going to take all of your energy. It's going to take all of you because who's transforming? Is it only pieces of you? No, it's all of you at your deepest core and soul level. Everything is changing. It's going to take all of your time, all of your energy and concentration. You are transmuting the energy, you're activating dormant DNA within yourself. You are becoming the most divine, pure, successful, happiest, most powerful, abundant, intelligent, successful, et cetera, et cetera, version of you. Let it go. Allow life to blossom within your heart. Allow the new to come in. It can only happen when we till the garden and get rid of all the weeds. They gotta go. So let it go. Allow yourself to grieve. Let the emotions let, run through you. Move forward with grace, with purpose, direction. Never look back. Because when you start to get the hints and you start to see your life changing on the physical reality and you can feel it in your heart, how aligned you are with the divine and all the changes that you've been wanting to manifest are starting to come, you won't want to go back. So give yourself grace. Give yourself time and space to feel the emotions, to let go and then move forward and never look back because oh my gosh, you know you're blessed beyond belief, you're highly favored, there are so many good things coming into your life that you can't even imagine yet. I'm sending you so much peace and love. Before I go, we are gonna do a couple of quotes of course. The first one, there are far, far better things in our new life than any we leave behind, C.S. Lewis. The second one is from Albert Einstein, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Do not look back. Do not look back. And do not let people bring you down. Move forward. You're doing it. You're doing it. So, and I'm doing it with you. We're doing it together. You're not alone. Allow the new to enter your life. Let go of the old. Give yourself time and space to grieve, to release the energy. I love you so much, and I'll see you soon for another video. Peace.